Hello, this explaining for beginners. We will talk in detail how to create and run the software by PPS protection system. Add new project. Select Visual C Sharp. Select Windows Forms Application. Write your application name and press OK. Click on View Code. This is permission key for create F. This will give permit for creator to convert your application from EXE to EFP. This is FDLL file to check and give permit to invoke your F and run to start. The secret key is more safe and also this will give permit to invoke your application. You may change secret key maximum in 32 characters or using MD5. ABDLL file will check if your application key equal invoker key will work and if not will end process. Must build assembly by x86 or prefer 32 bit that's for DLL file. This explaining by M in N Mohammed Nada Nemo. Now must create new project C++ native for invoke your EFP file. Add new project. Select Visual C++. Select General. Select Empty Project. Write your project name for example run executable C Sharp EFP file and press OK. Select Run Executable C Sharp and press right click. Choose Add New Item. Select C file. Write the file name for example main and press OK. Now write invoker code from documentation or copy and paste. This is include same using and import in .NET and also namespace. This is invoke function will invoke your EFP file by invoke DLL file. Invoke all invoke function must write your EFP file and secret key to run and start your application. Check your secret key it's the same in .NET.
let's go to change some option before build. Select project. Press project form menu. Choose properties. Select linker and press on system. Choose Windows Subsystem Windows Form Subsystem. Select Manifest File from Linker and choose Inno from Generate Manifest. Select Debugging and choose No from Generate Debugging Info and also choose No from Debuggable Assembly and press OK. Let's go now to Build Invoker. Select Project and choose Build for Menu and choose Build or Rebuild. two projects 1.NET application.exe and other C++ project invoker.exe. All we need now is to create the EFP file. Start create EFP. Click on the open to choose your assembly file. Please fill all fields. Select your .NET language. Before create EFP, please check your .application have the permission key. Press on create EFP. The process has successfully Just now need to collect Invoker EXE and EFP file both in same folder. Start run executable csharp.exe. Working legally and successfully. Thank you very much for watching. We wish you continued success. This explaining by M. N. N. Mohammed Nada Nima.